Welcome to this MindView Quick Start video tutorial. In this tutorial you'll be introduced to the MindView interface, you'll learn how to build a mind map, how to customize and edit your mind map and even export into Microsoft Word. Let's begin by starting a new mind map. The design of the tool is very familiar to a Microsoft Office program. You have the ribbon toolbar across the top of the page and then the workspace beneath and further tabs to find additional functionality within the software. To start generating ideas in a mind map there are a number of different ways you can approach this. Firstly there's keyboard shortcuts so the insert key creates branches away from the center and the enter key creates branches at the same level. So the insert insert and enter enter. You can achieve the same outcomes by using the ribbon toolbar as well as double clicking with the mouse. The hierarchy of the mind map is structured by having a center idea or a root with a mind map is a radial or organic structure beginning with a root in the middle with branches exploding outwards from the center. The hierarchy of the mind map directly relates to the other views in MindView as well as the export functionality to Microsoft Office. For example, when exporting to Microsoft Word, the main branches will become the main chapters and the sub branches sub chapters. Even when transferring the mind map into a Gantt chart, the main branches convert into summary tasks and the sub branches tasks, activities and work packages. Now as well as the hierarchy of the mind map, MindView helps to sequence information in a visual way. The best way to start doing this is by turning on the numbering scheme. Notice now how the branches have been numbered and there's a sequence to this information starting with number one on the clock face and reading the information in a clockwise formation. It even numbers the outer branches as well. This set structure allows you then to drag and drop information and change the order of the information in the mind map. By simply left clicking on an idea and dragging it, you can convert sub ideas into main ideas and vice versa, and even just change the overall order and sequence of the document. This sequence will also directly relate to the order of information when presented in the Word export, PowerPoint export and all the other views in MindView. In this simple example I've built a mind map outlining an agenda for a meeting. You can see how the main branches are very clear agenda items with the sub branches acting like the sub agenda items. There are many ways that you can customize and personalize the visual look and feel of the mind map. Under the design tab you'll find various different layouts from the mind map, top down, left right and right to left and lots of different styles built into the software. Hover over the different styles will give you a preview of what these different templates offer. To make edits on an individual branch or a group of branches Firstly, select the branches that you wish to edit. By left clicking and dragging, you can select multiple branches at any one time. Then underneath the format tab, you can change the font, the color scheme, and even shapes of the various different branches. For example, let's change the color scheme for the opening remarks. Using colors on a mind map is a very useful way to help categorize information in a nice visual way. Now that we have this outline, I want to start to bring together all of the meeting content required to successfully run this meeting. There's no limit to how many content items you can place on a single branch. You can add text notes, branch pictures, attachments, hyperlinks to websites, even hyperlinks to shared document environments. Further to this, under the Insert tab, you'll find the ability to attach audio notes, even embedding video files. 
This makes MindView and mind mapping a very efficient way of creating a simple content management system. So in this example, I want to bring a little bit more detail to the opening remarks. I'm going to open the text note editor. Notice when I open the text note editor, the ribbon toolbar across the top changes its functionality to that similar of Microsoft Word. You can do all of your formatting and editing directly in the software. Below is where we'll start to write our text. Here I've just put a simple description about this agenda item. When adding any type of content onto a branch, you'll notice a paperclip appears. By hovering over the paperclip, you'll be able to see exactly what item is embedded onto this branch. This unique icon depicts the text note, and I can select that item to reopen the text note editor toolbar. There's really no limit to what items you can put onto your mind map. So let's embed an attachment. To help us review the minutes from the last meeting, I'm going to embed them directly onto the mind map. Simply select the branch and head up to attachment. From here, I can search for the necessary document within my computer. Here I have a PDF document of the staff meeting minutes from the last meeting. Again, the paperclip now appears on the branch, and if I hover over it, you'll see there's the unique icon for the PDF and the label for this attachment. Let's do this example again with a slightly different document. So under the financial section of this meeting, I want to review an annual summary. Again, go up to the attachment, select the annual report, in this case an Excel spreadsheet, hover over the icon and you can see it's that Excel spreadsheet icon. By selecting this document it will launch directly from the mind map itself. So no more looking for the document location, you can launch it as and when is required. Often MindView is used as a presentation tool and images are a great way to bring your mind map to life. There are a number of different ways you can bring images onto a mind map. On the right hand side, built into the software, we have our very own picture catalog. You can keyword search for any item, and once you've found it, drag and drop and bring it onto the mind map. It will always create a nice thumbnail size image above the branch. Alternatively, you can search for images on your computer by selecting branch picture, or even copy paste from another source. So let's fast forward again. Here I've now completed my meeting agenda, I've added an image onto every main branch, and I've added some more content as you can see by the paper clips. This is where MindView is really powerful. The ability to take all this content and this visual plan and convert it into any office document. To find the exports, Head over to File and Export. Here we have Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, the Outlook task list, and even an integration with Microsoft Project. In this example, we're going to turn our mind map into a Word document agenda for the meeting. By selecting the custom Word export, you can choose from a range of different templates built into the software. As well as this, you can also select your company template if you've defined it. Under the General tab, you can pick and choose exactly what items of the mind map you would like to bring across into the Word document. Here, I've exported my mind map into a Microsoft Word document. Let's have a look at how the document has been structured. At the top of the page, we have the image of the mind map this is a useful transition between the visual plan and the formalized structure of the Word document. Also notice how the main branches have been converted into the main chapter titles and the sub-branches into sub-chapters. Hopefully you can start to see how this methodology will help you with any type of extended writing. The table of contents has been made for us, including page numbers, and if I was to click on opening remarks, it would take me down to that part of the document. Notice how all of the content that I added onto the branches has now become the body of the text underneath the branch header. We have the image, we have the text, 
we have various links to documents and any office documents that were embedded onto our mind map will become embedded documents within the Word document itself. The integration with Microsoft Office is in fact a two-way street. So not only can you export from the mind map into Microsoft Office, but you can take existing Office documents and then import them back into MindView. So to review, we've gone from having a blank page, we've generated ideas in a visual way and started to edit and customize our mind map. Once we'd made the outline of the agenda, we started to add our content in the form of text notes, attachments, and even images. Then we saw how we can export from the mind map into a powerful Word document formatted in a professional and slick looking way.